guys, this is Xavier Scruggs and Jessica back at it again. Here to uh, kind of give you guys a, a glimpse into some of the things that we miss from back home. They're just little first world problems, first world issues. My first one that I miss is Diet Coke. Um, I rarely drink soda, so it's not really a big deal to me. I um, have zero carbs rather than a hundred that come in normal. So, no diet sodas at all. I miss driving my car. Um, <clears throat> this year, being our first year in Korea, we decided not to uh, rent a car out here. The stadium is really close, and you can take taxis anywhere, the bus, um, trains. So, um, I kind of miss driving. I didn't think that I would ever really miss that, but I kind of miss it now. My second one is coffee creamer. There's coffee shops everywhere, but they use whole milk. There's no creamer. It's just straight milk. So the drinks definitely don't get to my color liking. Um, definitely like my drinks a little bit on the milkier side. So I bought non-fat milk at a grocery store and I bring it to the local coffee shop here. That's right downstairs in our building. So they make all my lattes now with um, the non-fat milk. Although we do find small ones every now and then and I steal as many as I can from yeah, so random I'm, places. I'm thankful she does, because I get to use them as well. I miss not knowing kind of what everything says. You kind of take that for granted. Um, just like walking down the street and you want to know what kind of restaurant it is, but you don't really know what it says. So I need to really keep practicing on learning my Hong Korean and Hangul. That way I can figure out what everything says. I am, for those of you that don't know, 100% Cuban. Um, both my parents were born in Cuba, so um, I love being Cuban and I, everything about my culture I love, but one thing that I truly, truly love is the food. So um, we have heard through the grapevine that there is some Cuban restaurants here in Korea. We haven't yet um, ventured out to find them, um, but I do miss Cuban food. Um, I miss my mornings with Cuban coffee, which is cafe con leche, and my tostado. Like, I miss all of that, all the desserts. Um, picadillo, I miss all of my home cooked food, um, so Cuban food is definitely something um, that I miss. Do you miss it? Yeah, I miss my picadillo too. <laughs> my uh, rocopollo, uh, señoritas, my, my biste con fritas. Uh, <laughs> he wants to become trilingual, do you hear that Spanish? and? Hangul Korean, wow, you're gonna be trilingual pretty soon. That was good. Okay, what's your next one? Uh, my next one is American TV. I have my Direct TV app that I use out here, um, but it's just not the same. You know, it's I have to hook it up to the HDMI, and sometimes it doesn't go full screen. I can't get every channel, so I kind of miss just like flipping through the channels and and uh, f just finding random shows to watch. Um, I'm gonna bounce off that because my next one was actually American reality TV shows. I don't miss flipping through channels at all. I miss just watching Bravo. That's just my thing that I miss. I miss watching, you know, My Housewives and E as well and MTV. You know, the ones with all the crazy shows. Yeah, I miss those. MTV. Yeah. <laughs> what do like you watch cat, on MTV? Catfish. 16 uh, and Pregnant. You know every now and then I like to watch it on those raunchy TVs. He does too. Don't let him fool you. He watches those raunchy TV shows I, I, on BET. I, I never even seen them. Love and Hip Hop. Alright, I'll watch Love and Hip Hop <laughs> every now and then just to see what they're talking about. <laughs> Alright, what's your next one? The um, next one is I miss Uber Eats. Um, mm -hmm. Just being able to order something off my phone and have it sent to the crib. Doesn't get much better than that. So this one is a major one for me. Korea, I, I'm not sure if maybe some other apartments have um, this, but a garbage disposal. We do not have a garbage disposal. So there's just like, there's obviously a sink and in the sink there's obviously like a little drain area, but there's a little thing that sits in it that has holes so the water drains through, but all of the food, excess food, um, just sits in there. So what we do, what I do is I have to t lift it up. There's like a little handle, you lift it up, I put a paper towel underneath it bring it to the garbage can and dump it, which you're not supposed to do. Like, the trash system here in Korea is very specific, but um, we still don't really know the rules. Um, 
but that is something that I miss. She I miss. knows the rules. She just been breaking them. And my girlfriends that came over here before, I asked them if they knew what that was. They had no idea. So you got problems. <laughs> okay, next for you. Uh, next one on the list for me is I miss my church. Um, just you know, being able to have that uh, have that time to go and, and worship and just be with friends um, that you see at church. Our pastor, um, Pastor Paul, shout out. And we have been catching our church on um, the app um, online. Online, it, it does play for us um, Sunday nights at like 11 p.m., which is crazy. So we do um, watch it from home, so that's great. The next thing I miss um, is cake batter ice cream. You know, there's Bass and Robins pretty much on every corner, but cake batter is just not one of them. And also cookie dough. So cookie dough and cake batter are just two ice creams that are unheard of here. I miss my cookie dough and cake batter and sprinkles on top. I miss my ice cream. I miss just friends and family. That's a given. Um, yeah, but shout out to my friends and family that I haven't seen in a while back home. Um, I'm holding it down out here for you, out here in Korea. But we got one friend that's right here. Just we say have... hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, our friend is actually here, so we're very Alex, gracious. Alex, why are you taking up the TV time? I know, right? <laughs> um, we are gracious that um, Alex, one of my best friends from college, is able to come out here and visit us. Xavier's parents have come out. My parents are coming. Um, Xavier's supposed to be having some friends coming as well, so we are... Oh, your parents are coming? Oh, man, I didn't even know. <laughs> you ordered all of Nike and sent it to my parents, so... Yeah, that's right. Come on out. Bring that out here. When are they coming? Very excited to see you guys. Okay, so... You guys are watching this. It's gonna be really random, but street trash cans. So, here in Korea, like, compared to the U.S. and major cities, Korea is very clean. And I, I kind of understand why. It's because they don't have necessarily trash cans just on every corner, which you would think is counterintuitive. Like, no trash cans means that there would be trash. But, however, it's not at all. So, people are just patient and throw their stuff out at home, they hold on to it, they don't just throw it on the street. Um, it's just like, it goes without saying. So I miss trash cans because, you know, when you have trash, you just wanna throw it away. Um, so when you do see a trash can, I've figured out from my our apartment to the stadium, I know where the trash cans are strategically located so I can throw away my trash. But it's just not easy to just, you know, drink a bottle of water and then find somewhere to throw it away. So you will be stuck holding it for a while, so. My next one that I miss is, uh, American outlets like the plugs that you use um, here obviously they have different plugs um, so some of the things that I use to like charge like my headphones or like um, my shaver or something like that brush. toothbrush like I have to use the converter every time and it's just like a little hassle traveling. sometimes especially when traveling all the time so Xavier touched on Uber Eats but I miss Uber, um, they do have a form of Uber here, which is called Kakao Taxi, but everything is in Korean, so I can't request a taxi. So there have been moments, there have been moments when I've been waiting 15 minutes um, to find a taxi and it's really hot. So I just wish that I could just request um, and get a taxi. It's just easy, accessible, but as Xavier previously mentioned, this is first world problems. And next, this is dear. This is, this is an emotional one for me. Uh, Alex okay. was looking at my hair. Alex was looking at my hair just about a couple minutes ago and said, Hey, don't you miss your barber? By the way, look at this. She was looking at this embarrassing haircut and said, I know you miss your barber. So, yeah, it's an emotional one. Uh, it's okay. Drew, Drew the barber. Hit him up on Instagram if you guys are ever in Tampa. Seriously. They just don't know how to like fade like the right way. So um, still looking for that perfect fade out here. I know it's gonna be tough to find. Uh, a couple people hit me up on Twitter telling me about some barbers though, so I'm gonna have to try them out. And uh, yeah, just miss miss a good barber from back mm. home. Valvo dies here. <laughs> yeah, Valvo did a little die. Shout out to him. Okay, so my next one and my last one. Just something that's just the Asian way of life is chopsticks and I suck at them. So I really miss forks and however, most restaurants do have forks, you have to ask. 
but most of the time it's baby forks. They always say eggy fork, or they actually call it a pork. They actually call it with a P, so they say eggy pork, which means a baby fork, and I say that's fine. I'd rather eat with a baby pork than uh, chopsticks. So what's your last one? Which last is one is doing me. a lot of traveling, so they staying at a lot of hotels, just the, the soft beds. I miss the soft beds from home. They got they love the hard bed out here. Like I'm not a hater of the hard bed, but I just miss the soft beds from back home that that Tempur Pedic just like <laughs> you fall into that that cloud just ah. It's very common here for people to sleep on the floor. Like they would prefer the floor rather than like a cushiony bed. So some hotels that we've stayed in we're sleeping on the box spring. Yeah, some like, of my teammates sleep on the floor. They rather sleep on the floor. You know, these are just things. You actually had to sit here and think of things that we really did um, miss from home, so. Um. Yeah, and I just want to say, uh, no, I just want to say, back home, every time you guys see a penny, uh, take a moment and acknowledge something that you're grateful for. Just whenever you get an opportunity, you see a penny, just take a moment and acknowledge something that you're grateful for. So Alex, our friend, now we're going to talk about it. Alex, our friend, brought us this awesome little um, gift. And it, it, it's so meaningful because it's so true that all of these things that we just complained about, they're not complained, but that we missed. Or I, I could, we could name 20 times more things that we love about Korea. Just I really didn't even know she was coming. I thought it was... I thought it was a joke from me. She said, Alex is coming. I thought, I thought she was joking. I was like, she's coming all the way to Korea? She's crazy. Ha, ha, ha. ha. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, nah, but we love Alex. and uh, Thank you for the gift. So Thank you. So thanks for tuning in. And um, keep an eye out for our next video. Um, and we hope that you give us a thumbs up and that you subscribe and um, continue to just love our channel and share it with your friends um, and that would be great. Anything that you want to say? No, that's, that's a wrap. So uh, once again, get out of my house and uh, go do what you what you guys do. I don't know what you guys do when you're not watching the channel. So. See you next time.